Hey, welcome back to another edition to Doug Doing Demos. Uh, in this edition, uh, first off, I'm just showing you, there, we got some wind here in uh, upstate New York. Uh, it's pretty breezy. It's uh, March 13th, 2022. And uh, it's kind of getting cold too, but the weather's going to break. And we're supposed to get, like, tomorrow, it's going to be 46 degrees. And by uh, by Thursday, it's going to be 65 degrees. So I think spring is, is coming for us. So that's some good news. But uh, this is just a follow-up video. I made a video about changing the color, the uh, RGB lights, the colors in your fans and the CPU. And this is the color pattern I chose. Uh, you can watch that video. I'll put it at the end, a link to it, so you can get back to that. But this video is a follow-up video, and I found out a way to that you can actually change the gigabyte color. There's the graphics card. You get that gigabyte word gigabyte lights up in color, and I found out how to change. And there's a couple of different color patterns for that. And as a bonus, uh, the keyboard. This is the keyboard that comes with the. Uh, I got the. Skytech uh, Shiva gaming computer. This is the keyboard that comes with it. And the keyboard model number, if you've got the same one, is uh, model number K1000. So if you got this keyboard, there's a cool trick about changing the color on this. And I'll show you that too. But uh, first off, let's. Uh, I'll show you how to change the color in a gigabit uh, in the graphics card. Uh, you have to go to uh, the gigabit the gigabit uh, website and you download a, a program. It's called RGB Fusion 2.0, and I got that right here. And it opens up like this once you download it. And uh, it's a pretty cool program, it does a lot. And there's your graphics card. And where did it go? Let's, let's open it up again. There it is. Okay, uh, here you can you can have uh, it's off now. I hit off, and uh, right now this is a cool one. It's called the intelligent intelligent one. What it does is you can set it for like the temperature of the graphics card, and it'll show the color of it. Um, if it's nice, if it's if it's okay, it's green and it's running cool, or if it's running medium, and then. And, uh, it'll be this color if it's running uh, you know if it's running hot so um, right now it looks like it's green but I come over here and the actual color is more it's like it's running a little on the warm side uh, I leave this running and I do uh, I rent my hash power out to nice hash uh, and they pay me, people pay me that mine on it, use my uh, computer to mine with. So it, it does run a little warm, but uh, it hasn't been an issue. Um, right here, you can have a static color, and then you can change the color of it right here. So uh, right now, it looks like it's on the yellow side, and I can change it to green. I can change it, Just you just click the color you want, like blue, and it shows you there, and uh, right there is, it's blue now. So this is uh, all the colors, and you can have it pulsing. It'll pulse. Um, you can also choose the speed at which it pulses, right here. Um, and the color. You can go from blue, uh, to you, you can change the speed. You can get it pulsing a little bit faster. Like that, pulsing goes on and off. Um, and then you can have it flashing, and it's starting. It's on yellow. I can change it to green, and it flashes green. 
can uh, you can double flash. Let's change it to blue. Double flash. So you get two quick flashes, and then uh, and it repeats. Uh, this is a color cycle, so it'll cycle through like the rainbow of colors. This is pretty cool, and I like to leave it on something like this. And it's just it's just gonna cycle through. And you, again, you can right here you can uh, pick the speed right here at which it does it. I always leave my brightness on bright, but if it's you're in a dark room, you might not want it that bright. You can change it. But here's the speed at which it cycles. I just increase the speed. So it goes a little bit faster. And that's a pretty cool one. And uh, color, this says color shift. And uh, okay, yeah, I like this one. This is, this one's pretty cool. I'll probably leave it on this one. This uh, it's shifting the color it starts from here, and it, it uh, it's just visually pretty cool. And what's this one? Uh, graduate. Okay, that one's all right too. I like that one. And then this one is wave. I forget what this does, but let's let's check it out. Wave. It looks like it's going to be all the colors. So, oh, okay. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to leave mine on. The wave. That's pretty cool. And I think I'm going to speed my wave to the maximum. Right up to the maximum. See what that does. Oh yeah. Actually, a little bit slower. It's not even midway, maybe. Right about here. That sounds good. I'm gonna apply. And uh, there's probably other settings if you want to mess around with it, but uh, that's the basic settings. And you can like save the profiles and uh, go right to different profiles. Like boom, boom. Add a profile. So, pretty cool program, and that just does the graphics card, okay? It's just that graphics card. So, let's move on. Let's close this out, and oh, here's the nice hash. It's been 50, uh, 57 days, and this is how much Bitcoin I have. And Bitcoin right now, it's kind of holding its own. Like I say, I don't actually mine. I rent the hash power out of my um, graphics card. I have a, a 3060 Ti graphics card, NVIDIA graphics card, and uh, it came with the uh, Skytech Shiva. And uh, I'm renting just, I'm doing just the graph. I was doing a CPU too, but it just takes too much power. So I found out that just using just the graphics card um, is more profitable so but it's been 57 days so I got 86 something so it's not bad it's gonna add up um, it'll add up eventually but yeah that's why it's running all the time um, so uh, it's warming up 30 degrees but uh, okay the keyboard here's the keyboard and uh, uh, to change the color in a keyboard you come down here's the space bar and you go over you know alt function and there's a little sun like a light that's the one that changes the color in your keyboard so you tap it once and you'll get blue orangish reddish greenish and then you can tap it again and you're at green blue orange and the red and you tap it again and this I like this one this is like a turquoise purple and uh, greenish yellow so that's pretty cool now there's one other one those are easy to figure out because you just hit this the next one is off so you get three different color patterns and the other one that a lot of people don't know of and this is kind of the secret one is you hit the 
function key down and tap the light button. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And just tap it and then let up on the function. And it'll function through all of the color patterns, all three of them. And it'll rotate, and that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool at night. Let me uh, let me shut these lights off. Okay, Google, turn off office lights. And uh, there it is. Now you can see it. It's changing color better. So. Then if you just want it back to static, you just hit your uh, light key again. And that's static, and it uh, stays that one color. Yeah. If I was to keep it in one color, I think I like this one. This is pretty cool. But again, to function through them, you, you hit your function down, down, and just tap the light button. And then let up on a function. And that uh, rotates through all three color patterns. That's the one a lot of people don't know about. You know, like I say, it's easy to figure out this one. But tapping that, a lot of people don't know about it. So I thought I'd make this video. All right, I guess that's it. Uh, if you enjoy this type of stuff and you like learning on uh, how to do certain things, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm always coming up with different uh, tips and hacks and tricks and ways of doing things. Um, really appreciate it. Share it with your friends and hit that like button. Thanks a lot guys and uh, out.